Yo, what is up? Welcome back, everybody. It is your boy Liam's Ghost, and I am very excited for today's new video. We're checking out some new technology in disposables. Uh, but before we get into the reveal and the unboxing, there's a little little quick thing I want to talk about, guys. So I get this question fairly frequently. People always ask me, like, how did I get into YouTube? And like, how could they do it themselves? And that is a very good question. Ooh, white Jeep, what up? Um, well, first of all, I did get help. So big shout out to Nate. He was definitely the number one guy to help me out. Big shout out to Donnie. And big shout out to Maddie as well. But basically, at the very beginning, I had no interest in making a YouTube account. And I made every excuse why I shouldn't make one. And the biggest excuse was that I was mad broke. Like I had no money at all. I was barely able, able to even pay my rent, to be honest. And I thought that to be a, a big YouTuber, you need like this camera set up and a mic and blah, 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 like all this stuff, which this is where Donnie comes into play, guys, is when I met him, he pulled up and we made a video together. This is before I even had my channel that I would help out with videos. And he recorded it on his phone and I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait, you're just record recording it on that like shitty little Android and he's like, yeah, man, that's all you need. Like, you don't need some crazy setup, bro. He's like, I just set my phone up in my car, do a 10 minute, 15 minute raw recording, and then just post it. And I was like, what? I couldn't believe it because I made every excuse why I couldn't. But in reality, you didn't really need much at all. So I was like, oh, okay, that this could work. So I started working at a vape store because I thought that, that made the most sense. So that was like right when I turned 19, I got hired at a vape store. And I was buying these vapes at discount because I worked there and reviewing them. So I was losing money every single time I made a video. But I had a vision. I was like, you know, one day maybe it'll take off and I'll be able to make money from it. And here I am now. So I'd say the number one thing is just honestly dedication. It doesn't really matter what you have. If you have a phone, there you go. If you're watching this, you're probably watching it on your phone. So you could probably do it. And you don't have to do like vape stuff. Like you do whatever you want. Honestly, whatever you find interesting and you have passion for. And the more niche the content is, the better chance, honestly, better chance because certain stuff is really oversaturated. Not saying it's impossible, but it'd be a lot harder. But with something like what I do, not a ton of people are doing it. So there's always opportunity. Anyways, rant over. <laughs> I really got into that there. Um, so today we're gonna be checking out the brand new Spaceman Disposable. Oh wait, I didn't wanna show you guys this one first. It's been very, very hot here in BC lately. Very hot. Like usually it's always raining around this time. But it's been like sunny out, like beach weather type of days. So I thought we got to cool it down with the Spaceman Prism 20K Miami Mint. That's right, Miami Mint. I have no idea what makes a mint Miami, but we'll have to get into it. Anyways, guys, let's uh, check out the packaging and um, see what's going on with it. So right here, it says world's first um, smart screen. So I'm very excited to check that out. It's got a 1.77 inch smart screen, which... It's pretty big, I think. I don't know. Anyways, it's got three different modes. It's got the boost. It's got normal and it's got soft. Uh, it has multiple animations. Up to 20k puffs, which is honestly insane. Then over on the side here, it shows a little animation of the different uh, animations here. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's also going to show you the cool level as well as the sweetness level. So it's got a three star sweetness level and a two star cool level. And then it says it's got a little flavor in here and it says it's a sweet spearmint. So that's pretty exciting. And then here on the other side, it's got some instructions for us on how to use it. Very happy that it comes with that because a lot of the times I'll just try to figure it out myself and make it harder than I need to. So it says uh, short click the button to switch modes. Long press the button to turn off, on slash off the side LED. Okay, we'll have to check that out. On the back here, it's a little bit more information that is important. It's got a capacity, e-liquid capacity of 18 milliliters. It's got a 1000 milliamp battery. The flavor is Miami Mint, of course. And the nicotine strength is 5% or 50 milligrams per milliliter. Which is uh, quite a lot, quite a lot. But it is what I'm used to, so yeah. Um, what else? It's also got the QR code here. You can scan that, verify that your product is real. I definitely suggest doing that if you're buying it off somebody a little sussy. But yeah. With that being said, let's open it up and see what's inside. I'm so excited to try this thing, man. Oh, it's got a giant QR code, bro. They ain't playing around, bro. If you get one, it doesn't come with this. Probably know you're buying a bad one. Anyways, let's open it up. I cannot wait to try this thing. 
It's been a really long time since I hit a disposable. Like, I took a shower before the video, so it's been almost like 15 minutes, which is kind of insane for me. Oh, dude, this thing is so clean. Like, what the actual fuck? Jeez, bro. Okay. Now, what did it say on the instructions here? How to use it? Well, it doesn't say how to turn it on. But I can only guess it's this button here. Let's try it out. Oh, yeah, it's already on. Okay. So, let's see. Short click the button to switch the modes. So, right now, it's in boost mode. Oh, let's see. Okay, now it's in normal mode. And there's soft mode. This is insane, bro. What? What else does it show? It shows your battery percentage. It shows your e-liquid percentage. It shows the time of your last hit. That's pretty cool. And then it says long press the button to turn off and on the side LED. So let's, uh, let's check that out. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at that side LED. Can't see it that well in the light, but that would look sick in the dark. I can already tell. Anyways, let's head on soft first. We'll move our way up. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's so good. It's actually delicious. I gotta say, can you guys hear that? Because it is low-key loud. Listen to this. be making some noise oh even on soft mode it hits pretty hard we got to try more though we have three more flavors to try guys and i'm not going to show you them we're going to do them one at a time so i'm going to grab a random one here we got ooh. so we got the miami mint out of the way let's try out uh cali lemonade this one's got a three sweetness and a two coolness as well with a flavor hint of refreshing limeade really spoils it doesn't it the flavor hint that's not much of a hint that's kind of just like telling you what's going on isn't it wouldn't quite call that a hint anyways obviously we got to um we got to go up this time so we use the the um soft mode so we're going to use the normal mode this time and see the difference <sighs> oh it smells delicious bro it actually smells crazy let's give it a try These flavors are hidden, bro. These spacemans are crazy. Someone said these spaceman disposables are out of this world. <laughs> that's pretty corny, but I had to say it though. I had to. Oh, that's good. That's really good. You guys notice how I still got the cost a little bit. That's another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm always trying to stay transparent with you guys about like, you know, the side effects. People always ask me like, hey, you have any negative side effects from vaping and stuff like that? And for the most part, I've always just said, no, not really. Cause I seriously have not. Like it hasn't really affected me in any way in my like, you know, like my personal life. But, but um, a couple weeks ago I got sick. I was lucky I had that other video pre-recorded. That's why I didn't post for a week, by the way, guys. Cause I was actually sick. Um, I posted that one video with Matt. That was like during the end of my sickness, what I thought but it just kept lingering and lingering and lingering. And I know for a fact that had to do with these things. Not this one in particular, obviously, but disposables in general. I was pretty much ripping them the entire time I was sick. I had a super sore throat and it lasted quite a bit longer than my brother. And he got sick at the same time as me, but he doesn't vape. And he was fine in like five days or something like that. He was like fully recovered. For me, I think it was like 11 days. So my sickness lasted almost double the amount of time be most likely because of vaping and it could it could realistically have to do with smoking weed as well but i gotta be honest with you guys about that so that is a little bit of a side effect it did kind of suck um i probably would have got a lot better if i just took a few days off but i wasn't willing to do that because i'm weak and anyways yeah <laughs> um let's check out the next flavor here this one i'm very excited about we got cherry balm which is a very, very good flavor usually. I'm a big fan of cherry flavors. They're not as common as you'd think. Like a lot of disposable companies don't even make a cherry flavor. Or if they do, they'd be doing too much with it. And they'd be mixing like cherry, pomegranate, blueberry type shit. And like, it's just too much in my opinion sometimes. Sometimes 
you know, you do a crazy weird combination and it works out well. But other times it's just too much. And I feel like cherry is one of those ones you got to leave on its own for the most part. But yeah, we're going to be trying this one in the boost mode. So that's the most powerful mode. I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, because it already hits so hard in the regular mode. But anyways, let's give it a rip. Power locked. Click the button to unlock. Okay, we found out something new. So when I was clicking that button to change the mode, I was actually unlocking it. So you got to hold it down for a second, maybe. See what I did there. One, two, three. So you got to click it three times to unlock it. There we go. Now it's unlocked. Good to know. Okay, let's give it a rip. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's actually insane. Oh, I'm domed. That was like the the tip of the iceberg type of rip right there. Oh, I need to take a sip of water. Oh, these are doing it for me, ladies and gentlemen. They're really doing it for me today. These Spaceman vapes are so dope. Like, they just keep adding and adding and adding. Like, what is next, bro? I feel like the next step is they're going to add, like... I remember, actually, it happened a while ago, but I didn't really catch on. I remember there's this old box mod that had a Bluetooth, like, speaker inside of it. And I'd be, I think that'd be really funny if they brought that back with other disposables. I actually seen, like, this weird TikTok trend where people were using this, like, audio that somebody had, like, these sneakers that were playing music, but they put the audio on a, on a disposable, and they actually used this one. So I was wondering if this one had Bluetooth capabilities on it, but they don't. So it was a little trick, but it was kind of interesting that, and it reminded me of that and I'd like to see that again just because it's literally just hilarious like imagine you're just, oh wait yeah, i'm getting ahead of myself here guys um we're last but not least we're checking out the dark grapefruit now the dark grapefruit only has a level two sweetness but has a level three coolness which is kind of interesting because the mint was the other way around and the flavor hint is a unique twist of grapefruit you see that is a hint it's a unique twist. What is the dark part of the grapefruit, you know? Is it like a elderberry? That's a pretty dark fruit, isn't it? Anyways. Oh, I like the design of this one. This one's actually badass, bro. I like the black disposables. They always look sick. Always look sleek. And I really like... A lot of people probably don't even think about this, but I really like when it has a clear mouthpiece because then you know when there's like gunk and shit like that in there. And that's why it's honestly not a terrible idea to keep these little top pieces to put back on, especially if you're working in construction or working some sort of dirty job. It's totally worthy to keep these around just to plug it up so you're not going to get any dust or dirt or anything like that in there. But then if you do get something in there, at least you're going to see it. And then you can use like a Q-tip or whatever and try to clean it out because you don't want to be puffing on something nasty, bro. Like I remember this one time this person passed me a disposable Actually, it was a pod system, and it was years ago. This was, like, a long time ago like at a high school party. And I took a rip off of it, and it was, like, such a tight airflow, and it kind of tasted gross. And I was like, ooh, man, what's going on with this thing? So I shined my flashlight in it, and it was just, like, full of dirt. I'm not even kidding. Just full of dirt, dude. And I was like, why did you pass me that, man? So honestly disrespectful. But this is what I was thinking, guys. We got to try all three different modes. I'm going to hit it from a side angle here and we're going to do a cloud comparison. So we're going to start with the soft mode here. Whoa, this is the best one. This is the best one I got to say right off the bat. This is absolutely amazing. What the? Dude, this thing's actually, I really like grapefruit flavors though. It's so good, dude. What the heck? Anyways, we're taking three second puffs. We're gonna move it up to the normal mode. Take a rip. Okay, a little bit more power, a little bit more juice on that one. And now let's try the boost mode. Now keep in mind guys, it says up to 20,000 puffs, right? But that means if you're running it on the lowest setting, if you're running it on the soft mode, it is gonna last probably a true 20,000 puffs. But if you're running it on boost, I can guarantee that they'll cut it down almost in half and that's where they get you. So it really depends. You know, if you're, if you're penny pinching, you're probably going to want to run down the soft mode because you're going to get the best value for it. But you know, if you die in a game and you're pissed, you might want to put it in boost mode just so you don't break your keyboard or your monitor or anything like that. Anyways, 
boost mode. Let's see what kind of cloud it. Let's see what kind of cloud it produces here. Oh yeah. Oh, boost mode is where I'm gonna put it at. That was absolutely delicious. Now, for the community hit, for those who have made it that long, first of all, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Love you guys. Uh, second of all, comment 5, 15, 20, because that's the timestamp that we're at. And then I'll know that you participated in the community hit with me. And it'll make me like you even a little bit more. And with that being said, we got to do some sort of weird combination here. We got to hit them both. I was thinking maybe we do the Miami Mint. With the Cali Lemonade. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. That way we can, you know, bring the East Coast and the West Coast together. So, obviously, we're going to put them both in boost mode. Because it only makes sense. We got them both in boost mode here. I don't know why I said that so weird. I feel like I slurred my words a little bit. Anyways, let's take a double blinky. Or at least try to. And we'll end the video off there. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a thumbs up. Always appreciate that. Um, in the comment section, you know, it's for whatever, you know, totally free reign over there. You can say whatever you want and definitely hit that subscribe button and turn that post notification bell on if you're new and you want to see more videos just like this. Anyways, let's take a rip. Three, two, one. Not even close to a blinker, not even close. Try to blink disposable as long as he's stupid. <sighs> There's no point in it. Anyways, cheers, everybody. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend because I'm going to post this on Saturday. So let me know what you guys are getting up to. Anyways, peace.